back to Austin Bro Bricks and Cars. In today's video, I'll be going over my top 10 favorite owned LEGO Star Wars sets. So without further ado, we'll get right into this video. So first off, for honorable mentions, I have the clone turbo tank and um, uh, Clone Wars clone battle pack. Um, this was a cool set because I got it from one of my friends ended up giving it to me. Um, and then this was one of the first clone, uh, first Star Wars sets I got. Um, and then at number 10, I have the Republic Frigate set. Um, this is a set that, um, I recently rebuilt. Um, and it's a really cool set. It came with Commander Wolf, a wolf pack trooper, um, Yoda, and then some other Jedi. Um, and it's just a pretty cool set and has an cool escape pod play feature. Then at number nine, I have the Gungan Patrol set. Um, this is a pretty cool set. Um, well, kind of cool set, but um, I just like um, it has some unique molds that aren't, you don't see anymore. Um, and it's just a pretty um, cool set for when it came out. Um, and at number eight, this was my first ever Lego Star Wars set. Um, um, it was just that, um, it's pretty cool, um, and it, from leaks I've seen, as it seems like there is a, another version of this coming out, um, at the end of this year, so I think that would be cool to see. Um, then at number seven, I have Kylo Ren's shuttle, um, this is just a really cool set, um, it's really a set used in one of my first mocks that I made. Um, it's just pretty, it comes with great figure selection. Um, and I just think the features are really good on it. Then at number six, I have the 501st Battle Pack. Um, this is a really cool set because it helped me to build my army a lot. Um, so I have a very big clone army now. Um, also, it's just my favorite group of clones. At number five, I have the Ahsoka TV show um, ghost set. Um, this came with the Phantom 2 um, and the ghost just as one set. Um, I like the figure selection because it comes with Hera, her son, and Chopper, and then two um, resistance, well, not resistance, but um, New Republic people. Um, it has some boarding ramps on the sides, so it's really good. Um, I like the engines really detailed um i just like the and i like that you don't see gaps there are it's like detailed very pretty much all over um that's what really makes me like the set um then at number four we have the death star 2 final duel um set um that has a quote um then it has the, the 40th anniversary of return of the jedi on it um and i just think this is a really cool set um especially for collectors, which I kind of fall into that category now. Then at number three, I have the most recent ATTE Walker. I just think it's great with how it comes with five clones, three dro battle droids, and another droid, uh, and a spider droid. Um, and I really think they did a great job detailing it. I like that there's more brick built stuff than stickers and um, dish pieces. And then at number two, I have the 2013 um, Republic Gunship. Um, this is just a really cool set, um, and I uh, just it's a set that I still really that I think has stood the up to um, time um, and just had a great selection of figures. Lastly, at number one, I have the brick built um, R2D2, um, and this is probably, well, this is my favorite set because um, R2-D2 is my favorite Star Wars character, um, and I just really think they did a great job with this because there are different features like that you can have like Luke's lightsaber pop out. There are just tons of really cool details in this. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Can't wait to see you guys in the next one.